when thinking about staff members who are reluctant, um, staff members who struggle with um, accepting the idea that this is an important model, I think that just as you talk about customizing the process for the student, you also have to think a little bit about the adult. And there can be many different reasons as to why they, they're hesitant to adopt. It could be that there's anxiety, that they don't feel like they've got the skills, they don't feel confident to do that. Um, it could be that they uh, feel like there is an adequate support and so they're a little frustrated that maybe if they've tried to do it, they don't feel like they were supported and, and early on when they tried it, they weren't successful. So I think first it's trying to get a sense of what is it that is the challenge. And I think the only way you find that out, just as with students, is you talk to them. Um, and if you've done an effective job, and in the schools I've been in, this is what I've found, if you've done an effective job rolling it out in a thoughtful way with lots of support, with a good understanding of why and what the common vision is, people generally don't argue with that if they see that this is something that's good for kids and it's good for building the relationship between adults and students. And once you sit down with someone and you have that conversation, and again, I would use CPS with, with that, that person. You know, they've got, there's some kind of lagging skill that's in there and you could take your pick around a new initiative that's asking something of that adult. And that can manifest itself in behavior a lot of different types of behaviors in the form of avoidance, in the form of um, frustrated learner. I mean, there's a lot of things that can come out. So you talk to that person and you do it in a neutral way. You do it in a non-judgmental way, in an honest way where you hear their voice because quite frankly, they've got some good points and you understand it. So you need to acknowledge that with people and work with them. Um, you know, I wonder if there's a way Right? When we talk with someone and they think, I just don't feel like I, I know what I need to do, for example. I don't think I really know what I'm doing. Well, I wonder if there's a way that we can work together you know, to try and help you not feel that way. And being honest about the concern piece. You know, and I would be honest with a staff member, and I have done that, and said, you know, my concern is I think this could really be something that you're good at. And I think it's something that you could really have a powerful impact on students. And how you frame it is really important. And I think that's one of the, the biggest lessons that I've, I've gotten out of this model. It's in the approach. It's how you approach people. It's how you treat people. And I think there are so many universal pieces that this isn't just about working with challenging kids. It's about problem solving with people. And uh, I think you approach it that way with adults.